All right, y'all, look, so we finna make a New York strip steak. It's gonna be juicy, flavorful. Not to mention that you about to save some coins on this because it's like three times as cheap as if you would've went to a restaurant to get this. And you can be as comfortable as you want to. If you like me, ain't nobody finna judge. Lick your fingers, do whatever. But we finna have a time. Do my thing in the kitchen. My name is Cord. I'm for the culture, and I'm here with a vision. We here to talk, chop it up. They say the odds are stacked against us. <laughs> we ain't seen that bet. And the things we do in kitchens, y'all ain't seen that shit. Yes, Lord, let me talk. Listen, man, we here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we here for a great time. You now turned into Kitchen Culture Podcast. All right, so before we get started with the recipe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you ain't already subscribed. And share this video with just like two people, three people, five people, with whoever you think might need it. Just, just, just share the link, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go ahead and get started though. So we are making a classic dish, all right? So we're gonna make a New York strip steak, some asparagus, and we got some mashed potatoes. Super easy to make. I'm gonna show you how to make it as simple as possible, right? Dish, which you can use for any time, whether it's date night, payday, whatever. So what we got, New York strip steak, asparagus, and some mashed potatoes, right? So with the asparagus, we're going to season that up with some garlic and onion powder, unsalted lemon pepper, and then we're going to get some smoked sea salt and some black pepper. That's it. All right. Then for the New York strip steak, we got two good healthy size New York strip steaks, right? We brought these up to room temp, let it sit out for about an hour, right? And we're going to use a little bit of olive oil and just smoked sea salt and pepper. That's it. And then we got our mashed potatoes. We're going to use two russet potatoes. Uh, we're going to cut those up in a little bit. Use half a stick of butter for that. By the way, half a stick of butter for the steak too. Then we got our rosemary and thyme, some peeled garlic, and then we got sour cream and whatever cheese you want to use. You can use mozzarella, Parmesan, cheddar, whatever, but we're using mozzarella today. All right. So here we go, let's go ahead and get started. With our asparagus, it's real easy, right? So all we're gonna do, you can either cut this, which I'll show you, or you can do the bend and snap method. Just bend the asparagus and where it naturally breaks is where it breaks. And the reason you do that is because this part is gonna be real bitter. Or if you are pressed for time. So what we're gonna do with our asparagus, hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Just to season it up, we're gonna hit it with a little sprinkle of some unsalted lemon pepper. Or if you have fresh lemon, that's also cool too. Onion powder, garlic powder. All right, smoked sea salt, a little bit of black pepper. Give that a good little mix. All right, so then while we work on everything else, we'll go ahead and set these aside. All right, so we got our New Year's strip steaks, and what we're gonna do first is hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit, because all we're going to do is just rub the back side. So we're going to go ahead and rub that on in. Oh, hey, fun fact, though, with medium rare, medium steak, is the red stuff is not blood. It's not blood. It's just a protein called myoglobin, right? You're not going to get sick from it. Now, what you will get from some well-done steak a lot of times is some dry-ass steak. But all right, so what we're going to do first is salt and pepper. So again, we're going to hit it with some smoked sea salt. Or again, if you got regular salt, that's fine. Sea salt, whatever. So we're gonna generously hit it with this, right? Steak can take a good amount. We're gonna make sure we get the sides too. What you're gonna do is just rub the sides real good. Comment below how you like your steak. Medium rare, some people I heard even like rare. Yeah, medium well, well done, whatever floats your boat. Next, we go ahead and hit it with some black pepper. You can get fresh cracked black peppercorns. I would just say, yeah, get you some black pepper of your choice. All right, so we got our steak well seasoned and everything like that. So. We're gonna go ahead and cut up our potatoes and get ready for that. Stay tuned. So now what we're gonna do uh, for our mashed potatoes, I like to keep the skin on. If you don't, that's totally up to you. It just gives it a little bit of character in my opinion. So what we're gonna do is just cut these into smaller pieces really. Just so that way you're not spending 40 minutes waiting for this to boil. Cut it however you want. Just make sure you get a sharp knife, right? That's all you gotta do. We less than a month from Valentine's Day. Uh, ladies, how do y'all feel about giving a man a Valentine's Day gift? Is it necessary? Do you feel like he only owes you something? Like, let me know. As you hear the water then came to a nice rolling boil, this is gonna be for our potatoes. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of salt just because you always wanna salt your water when either you boiling pasta, potatoes, both of those absorb a lot of sodium. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop these in. All right, so these gonna boil for like 10 minutes. That's all you need, it'll be, it'll be soft by then. So now our potatoes are almost done, as you can hear. What we're gonna do is just put our asparagus onto a baking sheet, lay the asparagus across. You don't need to put any more oil on it because it's already oiled up. And then we're just gonna put this in the oven at 425 degrees to let it cook for about seven to 10 minutes. Once the potatoes are done, drain the water off and there's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do everything in the pot. Get you two tablespoons of unsalted butter, then we're gonna come through with some of that heavy cream, about a half a cup to a cup, just depending on how loose or how thick you want them. Now for the seasonings, we can get garlic powder or you can use garlic paste. Either one is fine, but start you with about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. Next, we're gonna balance everything with some black pepper and then we're gonna get some salt and season that to your taste level. Keep it simple, y'all, do regular salt. Then just a little bit of onion powder. And you can't have mashed potatoes without sour cream. Get you about one to two tablespoons of that. And then we're just gonna mash everything up. Now, ideally you wanna use a potato masher like you see right here, but it's been times where I had to use a wine glass in the past and it still will get the job done. Get it to your desired consistency. Then if you want to add you some freshly chopped basil, ooh, it goes a long way. Then add in the cheese of your choice. You can do mozzarella, pimento, or Parmesan. Give that a good mix to get everything incorporated. And then what you left with is this beautiful thing right here. All right, so we're gonna set that aside and then work on our steak. And look, if you done forgot, check on your asparagus to make sure that ain't burning. For our steak, we're gonna preheat some avocado oil in a skillet. Cast iron gonna be best, but use what you got. Now I'm getting flavor to this oil by adding in peeled garlic, rosemary, and thyme. We're gonna just let that cook for a few minutes, probably about three to four minutes. Take that out, set that aside, and then we're gonna add our steaks on in. So our oil is nice and hot, and this is on like a medium to medium high temperature, just depending on your stove. Set the steaks on in and press down on them. What that does just helps that crust form a little bit more, and it gives us that beautiful brown color that we see when we flip this steak. All right, so look, real important on this. So you done spent all this money on this steak, and to get the best out of this, when you put that in to cook on one side, don't touch it. Let it go because then it's going to pay off. That's what it's going to look like. You see that brown crust? We let that cook for about four to five minutes on one side, and then we're going to go ahead and flip that over like so. So quick breakdown. Four minutes will give you about a medium rare. Five minutes will be medium to medium well, just depending on how fast your stove cooks. However you like it is how you like it. That's your business. But all right, go ahead and grab you about two tablespoons of some unsalted butter. You can even get half a stick of unsalted butter if you like. Grab that rosemary thyme and that peeled garlic, and what we're going to do is melt that butter on down because we're getting ready to baste our steak. So you're going to tilt the pan forward, and then from there, we're just gonna go ahead and scoop that butter on top of that perfectly melanated steak. All right, once it's done, we're gonna take this off, set it on the board to rest. Do that for about maybe five to 10 minutes before you cut into it so the juices settle. Do not skip that step about letting the steak rest, all right? After that time, go ahead and cut into your steak as you see right here. A little bit of pink is just fine. Now, I ain't here to judge, but respectfully, now, if you eat rare or blue rare, you wild. Then just plate everything on up with your asparagus and your mashed potatoes and whoever you're cooking this for, or if you're cooking it for anybody, it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 and a reaction like this right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 you don't have to do that. There's something different that I, I probably wouldn't get otherwise. Oh, <laughs> but that's just me. That's just me. I am not nobody's relationship expert. I am not Kevin Samuels 2.0, rest in peace. Uh, none of that. That's just my personal opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Why should I get him something? He gets home cooked meals every day. Oh, so you guys feed each, you feed him. That's nice. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs> you tuned into the Chef Core in the kitchen. We here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we here for a great time. Yes, Lord, let me talk.